Ready, set, go. Okay, I arrived in Val with the boys. Okay, what will happen, Harry? Uh, I booked a chalet for turns, all of us. For us five. Turns out I booked it with there's two other there's two middle there's a middle aged couple staying there. So yeah, pretty much. So we, we rocked up and we're like, there's three people. I nearly stepped over. There's three people that were like, who are these people? What are they doing? And turns out there are new housemates. Yeah. And they're in for a shock as well because it's not going to be pretty. Yeah, we're, we're not the quietest bunch. <laughs> thing is, it, it'd be fine if they were like two like two other guys or something like out yeah, for like a, like a, a mad hotel. Uh, yeah. yeah. It seems it's, to be it's, a couple. It's, it's we don't even know it's an older couple. couple. We, we, we should. We don't, we don't know. They're in the same room. One I can assume. Like we accidentally oh, opened our room. Beds. There's twin beds. Oh my goodness. Well, me and Chris ain't banging, are we? <laughs> well, we? Wow. Well. Well. Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, this is the place we always go. So anyway, um, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll document this as we go. Obviously, they won't be it's in not any gonna, footage. It's not We're go not well. even. The thing well, is, well, I'm. Well, I'm well, I'm I don't know. Maybe we'll. Oh, we'll get. We'll get okay, we'll see if we can get them in the vlog. The thing is, like, I'm like, can we even vlog in our chalet now? Like. I didn't want to go into the living room because I'm like, this is awkward. They're sat there like sipping their wine. No, I'm, this I'm is like the go. longest intro I've ever heard. I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I beg you, turn off the camera. Turn it off. All right, we'll move on to the next clip. We found a chicken shop on the street. There we go. A, 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 a midnight chicken shop. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Look at that. Four euros for a. What does that say? I even know. Something with Nutella. Alright, Harry, you know when I knew it was over? What? I knew it was over when they asked what our plans were. Oh, and they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so what are your plans for the week? And oh, we're we like, might, we might get an early night, is what they were hoping us would say. But instead, like, we're going out on a session. Oh, we need to say that. We've got a chicken. We've got a five yeah. piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken. chicken and chips. Yeah. Now, this is some serious midnight food. This is huge. This is going to be the saviour every night. Good morning, world. Day two. Last night got a little bit crazier than expected. He's my fucking boy right here! I just met this guy, he's my boy! So uh, yeah, we're a little behind schedule, it's a little later than we'd planned it to be. Look at the snow. Look how much snow there is. I think this is probably the most snow there's ever been when I've skied in Europe. This is actually unreal. That is actually where we ended up last night, Dick's Tea bar Which, uh, it's, it's pretty crazy actually. So I can actually show you around the place we're staying now because our unexpected guests that you found out about last night aren't no longer here. They actually woke up. So they're staying in there. Literally, like this is the chalet that Harry booked. And they're in there. So we're we've got the kitchen area there. The bottles of wine. How are we feeling, boys? I'm like, I've, I've been better. Yeah. How did that happen? How did yesterday happen? Oh, it's about freezing. That's how it happened. <laughs> we should be skiing right now. We should. You know, the, uh, our friends, they left hours ago. Really? I heard them leave at like 9-ish, 8-ish. You guys were loud. Not gonna lie, I was in my room downstairs and about for another half an hour I could hear you guys. <laughs> we were like, trying to like not be too loud. Oh, you were loud. It was, it was, it was. <laughs> no, this is after. I was there for that. Okay, what is up? GoPro Hero 6 with the uh, Karma like stabilizing mount, which I don't really know how to use. <laughs> so this is gonna be really weird to start with. I might give up real soon, I think. <laughs> I like, I'll get a few cinematics with this. I don't know why I've actually started with this. It's about like 2 p.m. It's probably the latest start in skiing history. The other guys are still getting their snowboards and gear. They had nothing. Me and Callum are ready to go. I'm actually hyped because my jacket matches my new goggles, which matches my skis, which I can't really show yeah, you. No, you, got it, you got there it. we go, bang. Let's let's get a cinematic for, for you people. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, we're back at it again. Look at this guy. Some phase clan maneuvers, bro. Sign him up to phase clan. 360 with the wrist. Do you want to watch my attempt, Kelly? I can't do that. I really can't do it. Let's try this. Oh, shit! I told you I can't do it.
I think it's over for me. I think it's over for me, boys. Especially with this backpack. No, 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 it just takes you further backwards. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna film you guys first. Look at that, that's how you do it. Big Billy. Huge. Oh. Goes for it. Oh, he's gone. Off you go. He's gonna, he's gonna look at that. Oh, I'm gonna stack it. He crosses the skis mid air. I'm not doing it with the bag. First time I've hit a jump with not that. Well, here we are, being with some of my goals at Molly Daisy. A bottle each. It was, it was this guy's idea. This guy's idea. I had zero for breakfast. I'm halfway up a mountain with a bottle of wine. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the bottom of the mountain, but you know. You'll be going down in a bucket. Drinks have been drunk. <laughs> a lot of alcohol has been consumed, and now we don't know the way home. We don't. A. We don't know the way home. Oh. B. We don't know how to even get down the mountain right now. Honestly, skiing while drunk is a very stupid idea, but confidence is through the roof right now. The thing is, I feel like I ski better when I'm wasted, but I just think that it's in my head. I, I can promise you, I don't. <laughs> We're going this way. <laughs> this is an awful idea. Look at the pace! The pace of the boys! Okay, no oh. broken bones. We're at the bottom yeah. of the hill. No broken yeah, bones yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're on the bus. But, you know. No, 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 no. There are no odds. Come on, stop. Let me get this off. No, no, let me get this ski gear off. Cal, no. It's not a pit stop. I mean, I'm gonna commit because Cal's committing. No, no, we can just Cal, 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 Cal. We can change it out of our ski gear and like then drink. It's one drink. How many times do we come here? Right, we'll see you in a bit. We've made it onto the battle bus. Are you excited? Like. We're in the door. We barely made it on. Made like, it let's be Valbus. real. Cal almost Cal's doing lost all right. it. Cal's doing alright. He's got a bit of space on the Val bus. He made us do one more shot because he's Cal. Um, but luckily no more skiing, so we should be fine. Fingers crossed. Harry, explain what you're doing. Well, so basically, my face has been getting cold. <laughs> I can't be bothered to go and buy a snoo or a balaclava, so instead I've created my own. <laughs> She's cold. She's <laughs> Oh, yes. If I saw you on the mountain, like that, can you see? Yeah, just about. <laughs> We're in business. <laughs> yeah, look at Harry go. Look at Elliot go, what an idiot. What an idiot, how did you do that? So 360 mate. Oh, he's killed it. How's oh, living good? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. The balance. The balance. Oh. <laughs> Style it out. Style it out, yeah. Well, how much is on a backflip, Cal? Uh, huh? How much for a backflip? 20 quid for a backflip and 20 quid for a landed plane. <laughs> My life isn't worth very much to you, is it? <laughs> no, I didn't say 50 quid to anyone that cheats on my girlfriend as well. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a backflip and cheating on your work you, about the same. You can, you can do it at the same time, come up with 100. Yeah, 50 quid if you land a 360. <laughs> Doing it with the backpack, this is the dumbest fuck idea, let's go. It was at this moment that he knew. 
he fucked up. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 That's good. Ow. My shoulder's really fucking hurting after that one. Oh. How'd the jump go, Vic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Chris, you too. Boy, Chris, the and the whole boys. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Chris, wait okay. Do I get enough views to be in this? Let me see. Uh, actually, <laughs> oh, no, I'm, not, I'm not good. I'm not in a good way. Vic, Vic had a lot of confidence at the top. He was talking a big game. Uh, too much confidence, it would appear. Vic, it doesn't qualify for the 50 quid. Uh, <laughs> fuck, my shoulder hurts. <laughs> Might have dislocated it, we're not sure. Uh, no, I mean, look, he's rotating. I wish I was acting, but I figure if I fucked my shoulder, I may as well get some views. <laughs> oh, like, it feels like, I don't know, like, lumpy. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, well, that's a good sign. Uh, <laughs> like, they're good lumps. I think, like, I don't know, like a tendon or something, like, connecting my shoulder is just like... Yeah, you could have ripped it. I broke this collarbone as well. Oh, sweet. Probably so, that, then. At least you've got the diagnosis. Let's get one, buddy. Uh, I, I think it's not very like mature or responsible for us to be making jokes right now. <laughs> I feel like we're not. But are any of us mature or responsible? That's aggressive. Oh, so the boys are all gonna go say hello to Stonky. Fifty quid to someone that pushes him off the chair. <laughs> Tell you like anything. This circle hurts. You look like you're getting down drowsy. Oh. Looks like you're on a stroke. And broken collarbone. Ouch. Displaced, fractured. So for this bad boy right here, I'm gonna have to have surgery. Metal things inserted. So uh, Elliot's come to the rescue to join me on my journey to hospital for surgery. In a lot of pain right now. I think adrenaline saved me before. Yeah. The only slight kind of golden lining on this is the whole time, like uh, Cal and that were just like, oh, it's fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, they were like, they were like, they're you're not like, screaming yeah, loud enough screaming, for it to be a serious yeah, injury. Yeah, and I was like, mm. I mean, I broke my other collarbone, so that's both of them clocked out now. Um, the th good thing is they said like one week for like normal recovery, and then like a, like three four weeks for like sports. I don't do sports, <laughs> so I only do Fortnite. I only do Fortnite. I mean, I've probably have to learn to play with a controller um, yeah. on PC for a couple days. How you feeling, Vic? Not awful. I think the painkillers from earlier are starting to hit. Not looking forward to this, but... Wait, they... I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> the painkillers are definitely please, starting please, to hit. Please, you are... Okay, so chilling at my uh, hospital bed for the night with Lachlan and Elliot and Billy, who came to uh, check on me. Lachlan and uh, Billy weren't actually there. At no, the fated I... accident, you guys just watched it. Thoughts? Uh, more brutal than I thought it would be, yeah. Lots of great foreshadowing in that footage. Yeah. Like, so much great foreshadowing in that footage. I knew so something was going to go badly, I just never envisioned it being anywhere near this bad. Yeah. So now I got hospital bed for the night, I ate some banging lasagna. Is it banging though? Hospital it was soup? actually well alright, it was well alright. The soup not so much, the soup's pretty dead. Yeah, I see, I haven't touched it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got to spend the night here, oh. then probably like an hour of surgery tomorrow. They're gonna put the two ends of bone back together, wrap some metal around it. And then you're back with the boys. And then yeah, back with the boys. I don't know what to expect afterwards. I just hope it's not awful. Yeah, I just figured I should put this in. Um, Cause I've had plenty of time to sit here on my own and reflect on how dumb I, uh, I was. But you know, if by putting this video out, it protects one of you guys from doing something as dumb as I've done and showing you how easy it is, even on a small jump, just to go sideways and bang, break something, uh, then you know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe there was a reason I messed up so bad. But hey -o, um yeah, I will keep you updated as we go. Not been recording that much just because I'm sat here, kind of in pain a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, I will uh, probably, I, the next thing will be after the surgery, the guys are probably going to record me coming out of anaesthetic because they think it'll be hilarious. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Hopefully everything goes to plan and hopefully see you in a bit. Alrighty, I have returned. The last thing I think I recorded was before my operation. And I was hoping that, you know, the boys would come through, grab some footage. <laughs> what happened, Chris? Did you come uh, down? We, we did. We actually went to visit. We went to visit you. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, we were told it was going to take an hour. Yeah, I was and, told uh, like half an hour for the operation. Yeah, yeah. Like so, really simple, really routine. Yeah, so we, we, we tried to stick around. Um, we didn't just um, no. sack it in a bin. And we went and got some food, and then three hours later, the yeast still went out. Um, so we sort of thought that you hadn't made it or something. So it's quite good to find out. <laughs> I did see Harry's message. They're, um, they're, better, they're better people than I am. <laughs> I, uh, in fact, stayed at You were ill, to be fair. Bed. It is far. Yeah, yeah. but it's still, I, I should have come for the boys, so that's my bad. The food was kind of rubbish, though, so... Oh, you do you like the cafeteria at the... Oh, no, 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 we, got, we just went to like some random restaurant oh, just, just okay. in town. So I really didn't miss out. Um, yeah, I think I went into surgery at like half four, and then I came out at like half nine. I honestly yeah. don't know what happened. I was awake for half of it, which was absolutely <laughs> terrifying. No, so wait, could you feel them drilling yeah. into your bones? Yes. Oh, wait, wait, so did you, were you meant to wake up? I was, I was supposed to be asleep, and I was awake for the first half <laughs> And oh my goodness, and I kept saying like, I was like saying out loud like, excuse me, I, I'm awake. Maybe, maybe I imagined me saying it. Maybe I was like paralyzed and I wasn't saying it. Maybe that's why they ignored me. Or they didn't speak English. I even said it in French. I was like, uh, uh, je suis non dormir, which is like, yeah, I am not to not sleep not or something. <laughs> maybe I, I, they didn't hear me or they ignored me. Or it just never happened and you just dreamt it. Oh, I did just, no, but I, like, everything, like... Oh, that, that's quite scary. That, was, that is quite they, scary. Like, so there wasn't any pain, but literally, I could tell what they were doing. Like, when they were moving my shoulder away, it felt like my arm was just drifting away from my body. It, like, there was no pain. It was weird. I could just feel things, but there was no pain. Have you, have you ever heard of those stories? Um, where people are, yeah. Where they give them the wrong they're medicine. Paralyzed, and they're, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're paralyzed. They're paralyzed and they have the pain. But I they was, feel everything, yeah. yeah. Oh, guys, scared, come on. That was why I was scared, like, when I was, like, still awake and they were, like, whipping out all the bits. I could hear them. There's like a machine do a fair bit of it. Which was like oh, yeah. a bit weird. I was like Sounds going across good. the machine. Jesus. Doing like all this stuff. Like when they were screwing it, it felt like my whole body was twisting. Which was just weird. I also I also discovered that a nerve in my thumb is connected to a nerve in like the top of my thigh. Because whenever I twitched my thumb, like I felt it in my thigh. Wow. Weird. And then, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm sitting behind the camera just like cringing away, oh, like yeah. not trying not to yeah, move the camera. Um, <laughs> it is proper cringe. Wait, so what, what actually did they do in the operation? First of all, you've seen, I mean, you've seen the break. I yeah, we saw the, the break one. one. But this is what they did. This is probably why it took so long. Let me try and get Mad. Oh my. Look at the size of that piece of metal. So wait, your... So that's in your shoulder. That's your, my collarbone. Your collarbone's yeah. here, rib cage, oh arm. Oh my god. And then there's three massive nails. Oh like, do the nails God. really need to be that long? Wait, what do you mean three? There's six? Yeah, three at the sides, sorry, yeah. That's like, all right, so if, the, if that's each rib, that's like, it's really that, that, like that long. I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's kind and of And these scary. are all the staples, because that's, that's the length of the scar. They're not, oh, yeah. Oh, oh so my God. So your scar is like... Jesus Christ. Here to here. They told me it'd be five centimetres, that's at least ten. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I like woke up, like, it was so weird as well. They were like trying to get me to like stay awake, like after like maybe like an hour after the surgery. They're like, we can't take you back to your room till you stay awake. Yeah. For five minutes. Wait, like, could you not? You couldn't. I couldn't. Nice. Literally, and like the guy was like encouraging me, like he was like like saying like, come on, you need to. I couldn't do it. Like I'd open my eyes for ten seconds, bang, gone again. Wake up, gone again. Wake up, gone again. Like I think when I got back to my bed, they handed me my phone and like. I sent some gibberish text message. Oh my to god! Yeah. <laughs> find, find the message. Find what it's <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> it's yeah. so right. In my head, this made perfect sense. Like this was a perfectly coherent sentence. And then I looked back when I like woke up properly after the anaesthetics, and I was like, "What was I even trying to say? What did I say?" Right. So just after Vic woke up, we got this text that said, "Think in Good Boys Day," and uh... oh, so it wait. So think I'm Good Boys. Hey, Some, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yay, like that. yay. Yeah. Elliot said yay for anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> and then so today, you got the car back and the guy was driving like a maniac, oh you said? Oh my god, yeah. The guy was driving fast, over bumps. And like at points he, he was on his phone driving up this mountain road. I'm like, what? bro, I've been to hospital already today. Like, that was not good. That was like, but I'm back in the chalet. Yeah, you go home tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, luckily. Luckily the timing's not bad actually. It could have been way worse. It would have been like the end of the trip. Mm. Imagine yeah. I had stayed for like another oh, three days. Yeah, that was I was in hospital for 48 hours straight. That's grim. Like for 20, like for 36 of those hours I couldn't eat because they had me on a drip before surgery. Stress. Like, and, uh, there's ever been a better PSA to like ski sensibly and don't go over jumps unless sure. you know exactly what you're doing. This is it. 
I yeah, like take I note, everyone. A huge mess of this whole trip. But hey, you live and you learn. Yep. I ain't hitting no more ski jumps ever again. Oh, come on, next year you'll hit no, one. Not a chance. <laughs> no way am I ever going over one ever again. Well, do you know who tried to steal the thunder while you were away? Who? What, what do you mean? <laughs> Slight cold, they're not me trying to steal the thunder of someone having a broken collarbone. Yeah, okay, that's like, yeah, that's what you sent us. Yeah, snapped in half. Fucking hell. Look what they did to me. Elliot said they were just putting a band around it. That's what they told me, and then they changed their mind and put it. you have to get that out? Apparently not. Apparently, well, I have the choice. Oh, I just saw the screws. Oh my god. That's nice. and look at all the look at all the staples. Oh, those are staples, not stitches. Oh. Well, stitch, I think they're stitches actually. I don't know. Yeah, they'll be stitches. Yeah, and they don't come out. No, nope, I'm gonna have a metal, pretty much a metal collarbone for. Dude, fucking Iron Man in the house. <laughs> <though. laughs> right. If it breaks again, I swear. Airport shit. security and that. Oh shit! Yeah. Will that ping? Yeah, it will, but. They checked me anyway. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! <gasps> Wait, so is that what they put on it to, like, that's how to fix it? The metal bar. The metal bar. Like, from basically, like, from there, it's like from there to, like, there. Raw. Six Your minutes. shoulder is finished. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> Mate, you're he said it's being... Wanking for time, you know? <laughs> that would be the biggest letdown. But, hey, I called it. I called it. Dr. Cal. You did call it. I did call it. If you look on my Instagram story, when you were sitting at the really, that was before. I thought that was after. Nah, I said uh, broken collarbone beforehand. Oh, great. So I rate that. So wait, why did it take three hours to do that? I could do that in ten minutes for you, bro. Uh, ten six minutes. Screws, bro. Six screws, a hammer, and a metal bar. Oh my God. That, that's a twenty-minute job for me. This is why Cal will never be a surgeon. <laughs> Alrighty, so I finally made it home, which is great. Um, spent the last twenty-four hours pretty much straight, trying to recover, but throwing up because the French prescribed me paracetamol mixed with opium. Like straight opium, and that was going into my empty stomach after like not eating for surgery. So I was in a bad way, I was thrown up the whole way home, three hours down the mountain, on the plane. But, we're in luck because I have a delivery, a welcome back gift if you like, from Phillips right here. Um, so, let's just, uh, in fact, you know, I re that, was <laughs> that, that was That looks really dangerous. That was really dumb. I may need a little help um, getting this out so we can check out what it is. And then I think we're going to set this up in the, in the living room. Does it kind of suck on what feels like for someone else? I do feel a little guilty it's right now. It's just like, yeah, there's no fun to it at all. Like, open open my Christmas presents for me. Yeah, hey, well, cool, all right. Yeah, I can't wait to see where I get. Look, I'm cutting away. I still feel dangerous. I'll tell you what, Lucky, I wish I could break my arm and then I could just sit around like a leashy guy on the couch while everyone else unboxes it's my so good. beautiful TV. We can see what it is. We got the Philips 55 inch OLED 9000er. 9000er series. Not over 9000. Right it's not over 9000, but 9, the OLED exactly means that on. it has more depth of color and it fades less. Elliot knows all about his TV, so he let me know that one. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get this set up right here. And it is going to be all good, so huge thanks to Philips for that. If you want to check out this model and the specs for yourself, there'll be a link down below as modelled by the Lachlan YT. Right here, right now, we're going to get it set up there. And then we are all good, so huge thanks to Philips. And uh, yeah, I feel slightly less bad about, you know, the last few days now. It's nice. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take me and my broken collarbone down to the hospital around here for a little checkup. But yes, thanks to Philips for that. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hope you learned something and learned what not to do. And uh, leave a like if you did enjoy. I'll see you on a future vlog video. Thanks and goodbye.